This is John Madden. I'm here with my wife, BZ Madden, and Dari Lou. And today, for an installment in the Madden Method, BZ's going to demonstrate a leg yield for us. So, BZ, just before you get started, why don't you tell the viewers what you're going to do to create a leg yield and what it is. Well, leg yield is one of the more basic lateral movements that we have, so it would be one of the first movements that I introduce to a young horse, or maybe one of the first movements I do in my flat work even with an experienced horse because it's one of the simpler ones. Um, so basically it's just teaching the horse to move away from your leg, and it's one of the easier ones because in a leg yield the horse is bent uh, in the opposite direction you're moving in. So you use lateral aids. And in a, for say a half pass, the horse will be bent in the direction that you're moving and you would be using diagonal aids, which is more complicated for a horse. So this is the simplest of all lateral movement. So why don't you demonstrate, BZ, and tell what you're doing with your hands and legs as you do it. straight side of the ring. So I'm here on the straight side of our ring in Wellington. And I'm going to make a half pass or a half turn so that I, and I'm going to go diagonally back to the rail with my leg yield. So now after I make the half turn, I bend the horse with my right indirect rein a little to the right. And I put my right leg on and I ask him to move diagonally across the ring. So she's asking for a step with her spur, and when he moves, she takes it away. And the spur is just an extension of the leg, so her goal is for him to finally get so reactive that she doesn't need to use the spur. So she asks with her leg, left leg, if he reacts, no spur. If he doesn't react, then she gives a little spur. And you can see there he's bent left, moving right. And talk a little bit, Beezy, about what you're doing with your hands. With my hands, like I said, I use a little right indirect. With her hands, a little right indirect. Right indirect. And my left rein just maintains contact so that I control the speed and a little of the line with my left rein. And basically, my hands just adjust to the horse. And the, the idea is to keep the horse's body parallel to the long side, to the side of the ring that I'm moving him over to. So your hands are working pretty automatically to keep a little contact with the left rein and get a little bend with the right rein. Yep. That's what you said? Perfect. And now maybe you could do it at a sitting trot. So now we have it at the sitting trot. And it's the same thing. Activate the left leg, push the horse over, try to keep the horse a little bit parallel to the rail. Contact with the right rein, a little bend with the left rein. And now posting, changing direction with a half turn. And now the leg yield bent right, moving left. Beezy, what would be some of your pet peeves about how people do this incorrectly? So sometimes they go diagonally back to the rail without actually doing anything to move the hind legs. Another pet peeve might be just sticking the spur in the horse's side like this, and you can see that just irritates him and frustrates him a little because really what we have to tell them they did the right thing is to take that aid away. So it's not a nice way to say it, but we basically have punishment and lack of punishment would be putting my leg on, asking for them to move over. When he does, I reward him by taking it away. If I don't reward him by taking it away, he's never going to understand what was the right thing. So it's a little leg and take it away. And he does it on his own for prescribed, because he's pretty trained. A little leg, take it away. A 
little leg, take it away. And he does it on his own for a few strides because he's pretty trained. Good. And I think one of my pet peeves is not allowing the horse to move forward in, in one of these exercises. Maybe you can demonstrate that a little. Too much hand, getting too excited about the bend and not letting your horse move forward. The, ha the leg yields a forward movement. Even there, BZ, you're letting him move forward pretty good. Here, posting trot. Very good. And don't let him move forward enough once. Here, he's too sideways, not allowed to move forward. And again, that irritates the horse. Everything you want to do with the horse you want to do, that he reacts to your aids and has the right way to do it. So, BZ, let's do it well now. And now she's bent left, moving right, asking with the leg. Every time he gives the intention to react, she takes the leg away. Every time he gives the intention to react to her hand, she takes the hand away. So she makes her horse lighter and lighter and happier and happier to do the job. Really good. Really good. Okay, bees, let them walk. I think that's a pretty good demonstration of the leg yield, and I think Darry was a good demonstrator. Do you have any other thoughts about it? Uh, maybe one other thing is just don't let your hands get too low. The hands should always be above the withers, or basically maintaining a straight line from your elbow to the hand to the horse's mouth. If I get too like this, the horse is going to get backwards and stiff from that. Very good. And your hands can break above the line, is, is, can be at times, huh? Yes. But not below. No. Great. So this is our quick, short episode on the leg yield exercise. If you've enjoyed this Madden Method video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, John Madden Sales. Have a great day. Thank you.